Good morning, DeGraft here with your Thursday news round. Now, I have got loads coming up for you today, including this year's record-breaking Brit nominations and the young girls finding happiness through dancing. But first up today, Scottish people around the world will be celebrating Burns Night tonight, and perhaps you might be one of them. It's a day to celebrate the famous Scottish poet, Robert Burns, and is traditionally marked with a special Burns dinner of haggis, neeps and tatties, and by reading and singing Burns poems. So, happy Burns Night if you're celebrating. Now, it's one of the biggest music award ceremonies in the UK. This year's Brit Awards are around the corner and the nominations have been announced. So, let's take a look at who's in the running. Music stars will be gathering in London for a night full of epic performances and, of course, loads of awards at this year's Brit. Dua Lipa is the first artist to be confirmed to perform on the night of the glamour ceremony and she's up for Artist of the Year. She'll be up against Ray, who is dominating the nominations. She's up for seven awards, which is a new record for one artist in a single year. Big names like Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus and Olivia Rodrigo are nominated for the International Artist of the Year category. The big night is taking place in March, and as always, we'll keep you up to date with this year's winners. Well, you guys have been chatting about the Brits over on the Newsround website. Evie says, I love the song Flowers. I hope Miley Cyrus wins the International Artist of the Year category. You know what? That is a great shout. We've also got Woofles864123, who is rooting for two British artists, Ray and Dua Lipa, because they're some of their favourite artists. And finally, let's end with Liana, who says, I hope Dua Lipa wins it. She really deserves it. Well, you see, with me, I'm more of an Afrobeats fan, so there are a few names on that list that I'm eyeing up, but I really want to know the artists that you guys love listening to and who you would love to win. So let us know in the comments over on the website. Now, let's move on from pop stars to real life actual stars. It's been two years since NASA's James Webb Telescope was sent into orbit. It is the most powerful and complex telescope in space. And since 2022, it's captured some amazing images of planets, stars and gas. So to celebrate, the US Postal Service has released two special edition stamps to show off the amazing photos. Next. Tomorrow is Holocaust Memorial Day. It's a day for everyone to remember the millions of people who were killed or whose lives have been changed by an event in history called the Holocaust. Here's Ricky with what you need to know. When World War II broke out in 1939, Germany was run by Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. Hitler thought Jewish people were inferior and planned ways to kill them. Anti-Jewish laws were passed, Jewish shops had their windows smashed and Jewish people were forced out of their homes. The Nazis rounded up millions of Jews, as well as disabled people, gay people and other groups Hitler thought were inferior and sent them to prisons called concentration camps. Families were split up, forced to do hard physical work and there was little food. Millions of people were deliberately killed there. It's thought nearly seven out of every ten Jews from across Europe died. Some children did manage to escape Nazi Germany. Ruth was one of those who managed to escape. Street by street, Jews were cleared, and any moment, it was probably our turn. We opened the door to a woman from the British Embassy who had braved the curfew. She brought the entry visa to Britain, train tickets to get through Germany, through Holland, and a ferry to Ramsgate. Heinz also managed to escape the Holocaust. There was nowhere to go. No country wanted us. Frank, my brother, was in Leeds. He tried very hard to get me a trainee post and finally succeeded and we came to Leeds. We managed to get visas for our parents and they came, thank God, because four days later, war broke out. Every year, people remember those who lost their lives in the Holocaust. It helps teach us about these terrible events and make sure they're not forgotten so that they can never happen again. Thanks for that, Ricky. Well, if you want to know more about the Holocaust, there is loads of information over on the Nujan website. And you can head over to the iPlayer to watch our Nujan special, Finding My Family, where survivors of the Holocaust tell their stories. 
Now, it's been nearly two years since Russia invaded Ukraine and war there began. Like many others, these children left their country and found safety in the UK. And they've been finding happiness in dance. Shaniqua has more. Meet Zlata and Zina, two girls who love dancing. The sisters left Ukraine when the war started, following Russia's invasion in 2022. After arriving in the UK, they wasted no time in putting on their dancing shoes. I started in first day when I came to England. I very much like Latina. One of my favorite is I think rumba. I think jive as well. It's very nice. I think cha cha. Before the war, the girls lived in Ukraine's capital. We was living nearly in the middle of the Kyiv. We had a lot of friends. They travelled here with their mum, Victoria. When the war began, uh, it was uh, awful. And then, you know, I think I was controlled by fear. I was so scared. We made a decision that we should, we should go. At the first day, we arrived uh, in UK at night, and afternoon we were here. And since this time, we are still dancing. Zlata and Zina have wowed judges during their time in the UK and have won a number of competitions. I got uh, first place. Zina was dancing at Foxtrot and uh, Roomba and uh, she got first place on uh, both of them as well. I'm really proud of them. Uh, they had a lot of difficult moments in their life which other children can just imagine about. I was proud of them in Ukraine, and here I found maybe more. It's the reason for their happiness. Oh, amazing story. Now, finally, alligators living in North Carolina and Texas have been dealing with the freezing cold weather by turning themselves into icicles. Yep, you heard correctly. Now, they do this by sticking their nose up out of the water so they can breathe closing their eyes and then letting the water freeze around them. Now, trust me, it's a totally normal process called brumation and it doesn't hurt the alligator. During this time, an alligator's heartbeat can slow to a, as little as three beats per minute while it waits for things to get a bit warmer again. Well, just like those alligators, I hope you guys have a chilled day, but please don't freeze. There's always more over on the Nujan website. Now, it might still only be January, but we're talking about Easter eggs, so check that out and get involved in the chat. And when is a T-Rex not a T-Rex? Head over to the website to find out more. We'll see you then. Bye.